Today on the bench, I'm going to tie you up Don's Cuban shrimp. We found out in Cuba that this pattern was very effective when we fished any kind of sandy flats that were very shallow. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a Mustad C70 SD size number 8. We'll tie with some 6 aught pink thread. We'll use some red 9mm 2.4 gram Borbell eyes and tube eyes as the eyes two strands of mixed color crystal flash for the tail, some gold hologram electro braid for the body, and some cotton candy rabbit strip for the wing. To start the fly off, you have to take your eyes and tubes, and they come on a nice little tube with the tungsten beads built in. What we have to do is I turn the hook upside down on the vise, pierce the tube right in the middle, equidistant between both eyes, take the hook out of the vise, and slide the eyes right up to the, uh, to the eyelet. And then put the hook back in the vise and we'll tie in our thread. Once the eyes are actually onto the hook, I've tied all my thread and now like every other set of dumbbell eyes, you're going to want to do a lot of figure eights around here just to lock those eyes in place. A lot of people will actually put a dab of head cement on there to lock them in place or even lock tight after you've tied them in with a thread. So make sure you tie them in good and then finish your thread near the rear of the hook. To form the tail you want two, or essentially one strand, you want one strand of your mixed color crystal flash and we'll create two legs with it or two extensions off the tail. Just wrap it in, I wrap it over my thread so it's doubled over and go about a quarter to a third of the way down the hook shank so those, so those ends are sticking out downward towards the hook bend and cut them about the length of the hook. Once you have the tail tied in, I've taken a strand of my gold hologram electro braid and I like to start right near the eyes when I tie it in just to form a nice equal size body. Wrap the thread back right to where we formed in the tail. Wrap your thread forward again towards the eyelet and then wrap your electro blade forward to form the body. The next stage to the fly is you actually want to invert your hook because we want the, the wing actually on the bottom of the hook, bottom of the fly. So what I'm going to do is just undo it and if you have a good rotary vise you can actually do this without taking your fly out of the hook. But I just take it out of the hook, reposition it so the bend is up and bring my thread to the eyelet of the hook. Once you have your thread pulled towards your eyelet, take a small clump of your rabbit and that's the cotton candy rabbit that we're tying with. Measure it back so it's past it. You want this cotton candy rabbit to cover the hook and actually form part of the tail. So we'll just wrap this in right near the eyelet of the hook. And just wrap in a nice pig head on, pink head on the fly. To finish the fly off, take a few wraps of your thread to form a, a slight, a small pink head on the fly. And then we'll take our whip finisher and just whip finish off right behind the eyelet. So there it is, Dawn's Cuban Shrimp. Now of course as the name suggests it worked very well in the Cuban waters when we were fishing those sandy flats, but I'm sure it'll work good for any bonefish in the tropics. Give it a go. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.